transformation life cycle for a glorious destiny. I am beautified by grace. When we talk about transformation, what are we talking about? Transformation is a process of change. Just like a human being was first a fetus in the mom's womb. You were born, you became a baby, from a baby to a toddler, from a toddler you become a child, from agile to adolescent, from adolescent you move to being a young adult, from even being a young adult you become a full grown adult. And before you know it, you become old. And before you know it, you are transiting. So life is a process. God did not intend that you remain a babe or a weakling forever. In 1 Peter chapter 2, 1 and 2, the Bible says, Say, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the world, that you may grow thereby. So, the word of God is the milk that you need as a babe, even to grow. That's why. We don't have to run away from church services. That's why we need to embrace the word of God at all times. Don't allow the devil to push you aside or to make you to be afar from his word. Because that is the devil's strategy. He will distract you with all kinds of things. Hear this? Your level of transformation can almost directly be measured to how personally invested you are. If you're a student and you're not ready, it will show at the end of the session. But if you personally invest yourself to rigorous studies, there is no how you will fail. Rather, you will come out with flying colors. St. Paul said, writing to his son Timothy in his second epistle, chapter 2 and verse 15, I read from the New Living Translation, it says, work hard so you can present yourself to God. I like that. The King James says, study to show thyself approved. You know, the grace message has been distorted. Grace doesn't leave everything to God. No. Grace empowers you to personally invest yourself. It said, work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker. One who does not need to be ashamed or who correctly explains the word of truth. King James says, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, you can read the word of God and not rightly divide the word of truth. And that's why you see some people, it's as if they're not getting results because they're not rightly dividing the word of truth. You can't take the word for healing to apply to prosperity. No. That's why we see so many people are poor because they don't want to rightly divide the word of prosperity which involves your kingdom giving and stewardship. The Bible says that if you give your tithe, you commit him to open the windows of heaven and render his blessings upon you. The Bible says the measure you give will determine the measure that he will give back to you. So, you don't apply healing scripture. He said, I'm the Lord that healed thee. You now say, I'm the Lord that prospered thee. And that's, that ends there. No. You must rightly divide the word of truth. And you see transformation in that aspect of your life. So, if you will experience this transformation, first, number one, identify that you need to be transformed. Number two, identify and acknowledge and embrace the transformer. And his spirit and God is the transformer. And he transforms us through his word and through his spirit. That's why the Bible says, if any man be in this transformer, he is a new creature. That is the beginning of a new life, which will now begin to evolve and manifest for all to see. I see God transforming us and making us the epicenters of his glory. Cause his face to perpetually shine upon us. In Jesus' precious name.